Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back and happy Sunday. This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 seven mall channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. Welcome back yet again, guys. And I want to thank you guys for 9,000 subscribers. All right. I want to thank you guys. And actually, as we speak, we are now at 9,100. So we've got 900 to go before we get to that magical 10,000 subscribers. Now, as an additional incentive, I've got this real nice giveaway guys. All right. And this is just me clearing out the space really and giving this to one lucky contestant so actually this vial right now that I have is one out of seven vials that I'm going to review from this batch of decants that I got so by the seventh video we are at number four by the seventh which is three more videos one lucky winner will get all these decants okay from one to seven you're gonna get seven decants of the videos I had just recently reviewed so I bet that's a really nice incentive all you really have to do is to be subscribed right here on this channel and comment below subscribed that's it that's all you got to do be a subscriber write down subscribe you will be entered as an entrant into this giveaway and one lucky winner will take them all squid game style now today we will be talking about our 9k fragrance right here which is none other than initio oud for happiness without a doubt this is what you guys picked you guys wanted me to make a no hype review on this one now this fragrance right here oud for happiness definitely marketing wise rides on the coattails of one of the greatest fragrances ever and that is none other than initio oud for greatness so i do have the full bottle right here i reviewed this fragrance quite a long time ago plus the other clones if you guys are interested in the clones of oud for greatness i reviewed that as well but definitely i think oud for greatness right here is a cult classic right from the bottle design right here uh, that of course they copied for Oud for Happiness but definitely this one right here uh, Oud for Greatness is an Oud fragrance that I think whether you're a beginner or you know you're down there you're right in the trenches liking all these fragrances I think you'll love this fragrance right here the problem is is that because this is riding on the coattails of Oud for Greatness is that you're gonna have expectations right there okay a lot of people are gonna expect greatness out of the next one which is oud for happiness and it's quite a risk in initials part but of course you know just like with anything a lot of people are going to blind buy it a lot of people are going to buy into the hype so i think maybe their judgment was like okay let's just you know make this happen let's make a brother of oud for greatness right here but i will tell you right now guys okay that this fragrance right here oud for happiness is not it is not really related to oud for greatness all right so if you are thinking about oud for greatness and the reputation of oud for greatness and you're expecting something very very similar with oud for happiness sadly i think that is not going to satisfy you it's not going to make you happy and i'm pretty sure there's a lot of negative feedback out there right now on this fragrance just because it's not oud for greatness but i'll tell you right now guys on a positive note this fragrance right here oud for happiness it doesn't need the name Oud for Happiness. I mean, if I was the marketing manager of Initio, I could have just made a green bottle with the normal Initio plaque and I could have named it something else. But I'll tell you, this is a standalone fragrance. It just happens to have Oud in it. But to be honest, it's a standalone fragrance to me. Now, with that being said, let's spray this fragrance. Let's try this thing right now. Mm. Okay, so let's go talk about the top notes right here of Initio Oud for Happiness. Right here at the top, you're going to get bergamot and ginger, okay? You're going to get these two notes, bergamot and ginger. And right then and there, guys, right when I first sprayed this fragrance, the first thing I was thinking was, man, I kind of regret that this fragrance wasn't launched in the spring. This bergamot-ginger combo smells quite awesome for springtime okay that's the first thought that i had and it really brought me to you know thinking about walks in the park or these like nice parks here in the united states or even in the uk that's really what this opening really feels like for me and i read some feedback about uh oud for happiness right here about people saying that this smells like lemon drops okay and i will confirm that guys you know and it's really interesting reading feedback because sometimes you never really think about it or you interpret it a certain way for me it was like the park in the springtime but for some people it was lemon drops and once i read that and i smelled it and i was just like oh wow you know it does smell like lemon drops right here so this is a nice 
really uh, beautiful citrus ginger intro uh, that I think is very likable. But again, if you're coming from that oud for greatness standpoint, you might be disappointed because it's not oud for greatness, okay? But for me, if we're thinking standalone fragrance right here, it's a nice opener without a doubt. Now the mid right here is quite interesting because I feel like it's a change of seasons, all right? So uh, if you look at the background image that I chose here for Oud for Happiness, I chose Central Park in New York as the background image. And the reason for that was because Central Park looks beautiful in the autumn, okay? The autumn season is where Central Park looks good as well. Not just in the spring, but in the autumn to fall season. Central Park looks amazing. And I feel like from the top, which is sort of like springtime, it immediately shifts into the mid and you kind of feel the change of weather almost with this fragrance. And the bridge note right here is licorice, guys. So licorice comes in right after that lemon ginger opening, sort of like a change in weather. And as the licorice comes in, it's a curve and you start feeling the change and you're like, ah, maybe this is why they released this fragrance at this time because it feels like autumn. And behind that licorice, guys, is some cedar and some Oud. That's right guys, cedar and oud. Now I will say this guys, that the cedar is more prominent right after the licorice than the oud. The cedar comes out again affirming the autumn slash fall winter nature of oud for happiness because it gets woody and you feel like you're still in Central Park but then the leaves are gone, okay? They are gone and it's just woody, it's just all these trees without leaves so it's got that licorice, anise type smell, and then you've got the cedar to complement it, making you know that it's an autumn fragrance. And then of course, there's that oud, okay? Now, the thing that this one has in common with oud for greatness is how the oud here will be liked by both audiences, by those that have never tried oud. It's like a nice intro to oud. It's like an oud which is not offensive whatsoever because it is always mixed with something. And what that means is this oud is almost never on its own. It's like oud mixed with licorice and cedar. So it's sort of like a woody type spiced oud in the beginning guys. So it's never really on its own. Again, it's really great for those that are afraid of oud that just are curious about oud and they put it right here in the mid meaning it's not the star of the show. They're not, you know, implicating that the oud here is something that is, you know, something you guys have to smell immediately. It's right here in the mid hidden behind other notes. So I think that they made this for people that are quite interested or curious about oud, but maybe are on the 50-50 about oud period. Now I just said the oud right here is quite nice, but it's never really on its own because after a few minutes when the oud actually comes out on its own, you are going to get a bridge note that mixes again with the oud guys, okay? And that is your vanilla, all right? You got some powdery vanilla here. It's part of the bass notes, but it does come in somewhere in between the mid to the bass notes, mixes in with that oud, which means what you're gonna get is from a spicy woody oud blend, now you're gonna get a vanilla oud blend, a sweet oud if you will guys, okay? And the vanilla comes in and I would say that this is also a nice part of oud for happiness. I would say that the sweetness of this vanilla mixed with the oud makes for a great combination right here. I think it's a likable, likable part of Oud for Happiness. One thing I would say is how beautiful the transitions are with this fragrance, okay? So, you know, you actually forget at this point as you are wearing this and you are already smelling that Oud vanilla combo, I think that you're gonna forget already that you already had that lemon drops like opening right here. So I think it's really wonderful how there's sort of like a shift of seasons, if you will, right here in this fragrance, okay? It's such a seamless transition between notes. And these notes are not necessarily connected. They're not similar in nature, but for some reason, the way that it shifts is really, really great. Now on the dry down, guys, you are going to get some musk and herbal notes in addition to the vanilla. Vanilla musk is a known combination right here, but vanilla musk, once we smell it, once the musk does come up, it affirms the fall season. That's for sure. Again, shift in seasons, which is really, really interesting. Once the vanilla musk comes in, it turns bam, fall, <laughs> all right? You in a coat, fall style in the middle of Central Park. That's really what I imagine. Now, what's really interesting is how 
you've got the herbal notes right here to complement vanilla and musk, which is really interesting because now you can smell the leaves as well. There's not supposed to be any leaves during the fall. You do smell the grass, you do smell the leaves, something herbal that really complements this vanilla musk combination, okay, that is already set up by the oud. And I don't know, like now I'm really confused, right? In my opinion, like am I in the fall or am I back in spring, okay? I don't know. But what I really do like is how the herbal notes are right here in the end as well. I don't know, for me, it's like, an ending that is not a fade to black ending. Not like other fall winter fragrances where they end with vanilla musk and patchouli and you know it's like a fade to black type fragrance. This one, it feels like it goes on and on. You know, it's not a fade to black type fragrance, which means in application guys, if you guys are wearing this guys, you can actually wear this in a transitional part of the day and even towards the end, even when it gets musky with that vanilla towards the end and you think it's a fade to black. It's not really a fade to black because you're gonna get that smell of leaves really keep you on your toes right here towards the dry down or going to the dry down. And actually there is a part near the ultimate dry down where the vanilla really goes away and you've got musk and herbal notes. So that's really interesting. And to me, it's very masculine. I think this is a very masculine fragrance. I think that men should definitely try it, especially those that wanna pull off a coat, a turtleneck, something really nice for the fall winter right here. As of right now, it's October, it's scorching hot outside here in LA, but there will be a day where it'll be nice to wear a turtleneck and a coat. And I will be going to New York someday soon, so I cannot wait to wear a turtleneck, a coat, a cardigan, and wear this while I'm outside in Central Park because I think it just matches the whole vibe. I think that Oud for Happiness is for a guy that likes to dress up, not like this, like casual t-shirt and hat. I don't think it's congruent at all. I think this is congruent for that kind of guy that likes to dress up in the autumn slash fall winter season. I think that's what Oud for Happiness is for. And I think the name happiness really, to me, it correlates with how this fragrance feels like there's no ending. It feels like there is a nice lemony springtime start and then in the end you still smell the leaves despite the almost fade to black dry down. Still smell the leaves and maybe it's about happiness. That's what it is because you can smell the greenness of this fragrance realistically uh, in the start and in the end that I think that's what it's about. It's about being happy in the end, okay? And I know a lot of y'all have different ways of being happy but I think that the name, at least the happiness part of it, is uh, definitely congruent to this. Now, the performance of Oud for Happiness, I would say is moderate, okay? So it is not a beast mode player in the game. I think that with my three sprays, I was about to get like a powdery aura around me. And this one lasted quite good, 10 hours plus without a problem. But I think that this is questionable during the fall. I think that Three sprays will not be enough to beat the biting cold. I think you would need to overspray. Not saying that this is weak, but if you want to get noticed, I think that you need to do five sprays and up on Oud for Happiness. It's not beast mode. It's really like powdery and nice, especially once the vanilla musk uh, kicks in. It's really powdery and nice. I mean, the sillage is also nice. I think it's gonna hit people around you without a problem, but like I said, if you're gonna be out there in the cold, you might wanna add a few more sprays with this. So in the end, do I recommend Oud for Happiness? Yeah, I think I would recommend this because this is a fragrance that I think can be worn during the cold weather and also during the springtime, okay? So for those that are looking to invest in a fragrance that can transition uh, on two seasons, I mean, I'm not sure, like I said, if we're talking about snow and like heavy winter, but I would say autumn, and spring, I think that this is a good choice right here. And again, Oud for Greatness, take this out of your mind when you are buying this because it's really not so related. Or if you want, you can wear Oud for Greatness in the fall and then this one right before it or after it. 
you know, you can do that as well. But I really think that this fragrance is legit. This should have been just a standalone fragrance in a green initial bottle, to be honest. But definitely, I would say try it without thinking about Oud for Greatness. Just try it on its own. Close your eyes. Think about it as a different fragrance. And maybe you'll appreciate it uh, more than just somebody that's expecting like a part two of Oud for Greatness. Okay, so that is it. That is my review of Initio Oud for Happiness. Again, thank you for 9,100 right now, guys, okay? We're 900 to go before we get to 10K, guys. And again, if you wanna win this decant right here, plus other decants, okay? Six other decants from my review lot, all you have to do, guys, is like and subscribe and comment below, all right? Just comment below. That's it. Just put subscribe or hello or put your own comment. If you have your own comment, that would be better. But comment below on this video and you're in. That is all you got to do. And you might win these seven beautiful decants of these fragrances. And actually, I might add a few more. Okay. So until then, guys, thank you for watching the video. Have a great weekend, guys. God bless. Take care. Have a great day.